of our minds tonight and guiding and the guiding light of all we set out to accomplish and celebrate in Jesus name we pray amen thank you mr will mehia Punta Gorda Tongue, as you can see, over the past 42 years have been neglected. But now, the people will make the decision come March 6 to support teacher Anita and her team. Tonight, you will hear from teacher Anita and members of her team because they have taken this bold step bold step to combat the PUDP corruption. Few years ago, there was the Venezuelan millions of dollars floating around and what is there to be seen? They came and promised us streets, well-paved streets in Punta Gorda, but just drive around and the evidence is there. Fast forward to 2020, when the People's United Party took office, and the people said that they must vote PUP because PUP won countrywide. Well, you remember, the UDP had also won countrywide, and the people of PG voted for UDP. And what was the result? Nothing but failure. Here comes the PUP in 2020. The people voted the POP, and three years later, there is nothing to be seen. Millions of dollars had come into our Punta Gorda town. Where is it? Where are those millions? We need to ask the hard questions. But tonight, it's about teacher Anita and her team. So I will now pass on the mic. For a person who has worked tirelessly for the Belize Progressive Party and for Belize. A person who I see take no day off. She works with the youth. She works with the church. She works with any organization that needs a helping hand. She is the chairperson of the Belize Progressive party and she is as i introduce her teacher also a teacher teacher deborah borland round of applause for teacher deborah borland to be out here i am honored to stand before you to welcome you to this event which is going to be the mark the beginning of change that we need to see here in Punta Gorda town. Tonight, we will be launching the Belize Progressive Party's manifesto. And we have our able mayoral candidate and six councillors who will be sharing with you what we have in plan, what we have in store for you for the next three years. Good evening. Happy New Year. My name is Ronald Mejia, and I'm serving as a councillor candidate for the Belize Progressive Party. My focus will be on parks and tourism. What you're going to do for this park? Lights, sandbox for the kids, drainage, too much water. So, swings and all right, we're going to make the, child, the park child-friendly, family-friendly again under the leadership of Ron Mejia. Tonight we are out here and there is absolutely no bathroom facilities. He has promised that next time the families come out here, they will have some bathroom facilities. My name is Indira Andruin and I'm a proud candidate of BPP and also a candidate for the town council elections. Now, we all talk about change. And in order for a change to occur, we need to change the cycles. 
we need to stop the repetitive cycles of continuing to vote for the same people over and over. And change only occurs when we choose new paths and new ideas. So as a part of my responsibility at BPP, I am committed to the growth of the economic development of small businesses. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it is and I really want to create more opportunities for entrepreneurs by highlighting the festivals in PG. We have like a cow fest, we have Battle of the Drums, and so to bring more people into PG so that these small businesses can thrive and also um, having more um, fun support and trainings for these small businesses as well as for the youths we want to provide a diversity of trainings so that these youths can build their skills which is very important we also want to create a center where we can have a call center and that can um, create more jobs I'm also committed to developing the garbage and sanitation in Punta Gorda. And we want to create a recycling center where we can, you know, divide the trash and really upcycle some of these materials to create cement blocks, to create building materials and providing more jobs. Um, so yes, with your vote, we can make progress in this community. So, thank you so much. Thank you. My man Tyrone. Everybody know Tyrone because Tyrone used to what? I said be a bus driver. Serving the public for 35 years. Tell me one of the things that you will do to improve things in this town. Well, one of the main things I want to do is for like infrastructure and, you know, like the streets. Mainly the streets of Punta Gorda. You know, I want to try to work hard. I want to work hard for not so we could develop and make look what I got uh, in an, back in Indianville the other day and I can't believe how long in that field they you know become a part of, of Punta Gorda Lord of mercy I don't wonder how many people live back there Lord of mercy mercy upon the Indianville community but under the Belize Progressive Party that will be taken care of intend to be a candidate in the 2024 municipal elections I seek the opportunity to offer our town visionary, purposeful, competent leadership to build our future. There is a need for us to know of the major political party, PUP and UDP, that have stagnated the growth and development of our beautiful Punta Gorda town. For years, we have been quiet. We took the promises, the neglect, the pain, the suffering with a smile whilst a handful live comfortable. I'm talking real, my people, especially the campaigners that always take the blunt of the neglect. I am taking this stand here and now because Punta Gorda town today is divided by ethnic, political, and religious conflicts made worse by corruption. We are collectively exhausted by these politicians who continually fall in and out of alliance with each other and care nothing for the ordinary Punta Gorda town people. We must stop recycling failed politicians and regenerate our leadership ranks with competent and experienced young women and women. Youth who have prepared themselves with the relevant qualifications must take over the mantle of leadership because this struggle is about the future of Punta Gorda. What we need now is a real movement of the people by the people, and most importantly, for the people of Punta Gorda Town to move our town forward and break with our troubled past. I offer myself as a part of this movement. Together, we can choose a new path. Together, we can set a bold agenda. Together, we can deliver ourselves a different outcome. Punta Gorda will achieve greatness. Right? It is time to put an end to political victimization, an end to political divide. We are all one people. BPP is about family, bringing Punta Gorda together. Come 2024, there will be no more PUP. 
there will be no more UDP. There will only be PG and the BPP. Son of the legendary Marcel Palmer. Let's hear it for Marcel Palmer. My brother, we are so happy that you are here. You are carrying on the legacy of your father. Your father was an inspirational guy in this town who have decided to go against the grain. Um, tell me how you would work with people of with the youth of Punta Gorda. Well, the first thing I would do with working with the youths is getting together, having more events such as the drumming. This is one thing that I've always admired. All the youths learn for drum, the, the Garfuna culture, very cultural. And what I want is for just PG people to continue and come together. We fix up the parks, people come together more. And I could, all I want is that I love PG people. <laughs> all I would bless. Respect, respect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for coming out tonight, for being a part of this team, for stepping up to the plate. Thank you very, very much. Zaire. Young Bop Play. I am here doing this for you. I am giving up myself for the love of you, for the love of PG, the paradise of God. Because I know that our people, our men, our women, our children, and our youths deserve the best many times often times we have been treated unfairly in this country we don't get the opportunity the opportunities that we deserve and this is what i am here championing the cause for I know that with my BPP team, we can make a difference. Better streets, better drainage, better planning, better music, entertainment, tourism, building relationship with the diaspora, open up the borders so that our people can be employed meaningfully employed our people want to work it's not that our people don't want to work so that they can have a better life for their children and for their families but they are not given the opportunity to do so i see all the injustices that we face and because i believe in justice and I believe in social justice. That's the reason why I gave up myself to run as the mayoral candidate for the Belize Progressive Party. That's right. I am saying to you, my people, that come March 6th, mm -hmm. when this town council is won by the Belize Progressive Party, History will be made in Belize, the Caribbean, and the rest of the world. That's right. That's right. And I am calling on all of you for us to make the difference. Your mayoral candidate does not think that she is better than anyone. That's right. I am grassroots. I am from PG. I have nowhere to go from here, my people. That's right. I have served here all my life, and I will continue to do so for my people because I want to see better living conditions for my people and fair treatment of my people. Mm -hmm. Your taxes, your hard-earned money, that you pay for your land, the taxes that the businesses pay, you will not feel hard 
of paying your taxes because you will see that your taxes will be invested back into you. I, I am here offering myself to you to do the best that I can do. When you don't see me here in PG, please don't say teacher Anita is running away from us. Oh no! I am going to look for the money and to find the money to create opportunities for our people here at home! Yeah. You see tonight, they turn off the lights to turn off the BPP, they just don't know that they just turn us on. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. It disheartened me as a teacher to see many of our youths who graduate every year can't get a space in the university because they cannot afford it. This town council will help our youths. They will get opportunities to help themselves, to empower themselves, to be educated, so that our town can be developed, so that our town can be state of the art. I am sick and tired of every time when our people get sick. Dangriga, Belmopan, Belize, when the first theater, my people was here in PG, That's right. and they come and took it away from here. I can recall the town clock, when we had a town clock before this, they came and they took it away from here, under my watch. This will not happen. We will have... A proposal writing office where they will write proposals, climate change, different types of proposals for monies to come into our town. And these monies, my people, will be used to empower the youths, the children, the men and the women. Never before have we had a proposal writing office or a desk or someone who writes proposal to make a difference for our town? That's the reason why it looks like nothing is not happening here. Because you need to write, because you need to account for people's money. They give you 50000 you need to show, you need to prove how you are going to spend it. Accountability transparency and good governance is very important when you are in leadership and because both of the major political parties have failed to deliver this that's the reason why i decided to move away and to offer myself as the bpp mayoral candidate along with my six councillors to make a big difference for our town. Like what I said, we are about creating opportunities for our people that will be free of victimization, free of prejudice, free of discrimination, because PG is for the people. Vote. BPP7, Teacher Anita and her team.